good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I a little better, but the cold doesn't go. I know, but you're not using the oxygen anymore. Uh, yesterday I leave. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. But in my house, everybody is sick. It's yes. Mm, in the I company believe. are many employees positive COVID. I heard they canceled the expo. Yes, yes. They postponed it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. In oh the my company, God. many, many employees have positive COVID. What could have happened? I don't know. It's a new wave. <laughs> uh, yes, it's a yeah. new wave. The uh -huh. fourth, I heard. Third, fourth, Wait. Yeah, I heard it. Yes. Well, sorry to hear that. So I hope you feel better. Yeah, we were um, kind of worried for you because you were not in class. Yes. A little better. Okay, thank God. Rest and recover. Yes. Drink a lot many, of water. Many, many things. Tea. Lemonade. <laughs> See, I oh know. God. Yeah, but take all the medications, yeah, so that you can recover because it's not fun to be sick. No. Not at all. Well, welcome to classes. I have two weeks. Imagine. Yes. It's been a while. Yes. My God. Yeah, sorry. Well, hopefully you feel better. All right, everybody, good evening. How is it going? How's life treating you? <laughs> it's Friday. It was Friday because it's over, actually. Tomorrow is Saturday. Woo! For resting. For relaxing, for some people working, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Did you practice the verbs? Today we have a quiz about the verbs. Ah. <laughs> not, 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 not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> okay. Ah, it's a joke. It's only to wake you up. <laughs> How do you say adivina? Guess. Guess. <laughs> you are guess. <laughs> no. Oh, you say like, like a fortune teller. Como una persona que tiene una bola de cristal. Mm, that's adivino. A, uh -huh, it's a fortune teller. Como alguien que dice la fortuna. Pero adivina de adivinar del verbo es guess. Guess what? Okay. Yeah, it's not the same word. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why English is so interesting. Teacher, hay que mencionar esa palabra teller uh -huh. y to, storyteller. No, es como story, cuenta, cuenta. storyteller. Story, storyteller. Yes, ah. ese es alguien que cuenta historias. Ah, como cuenta cuentos. Uh -huh. Storyteller. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. There was a very good one from Colombia, pero ya se regresó a Colombia. His name is Agudelo. He was very good at storytelling. Un par de eventos lo llevamos a la foundation, so it was really fun. <laughs> it was very, very funny. Even Pero, though he's from Colombia, he kind of adapted the stories to the Salvadorian's humor and to the teenager's humor, which is more difficult. But it was fun. Entonces, pero la, la words teller es... Es que ¿cómo? tell, tell es el verbo, decir. Entonces, ah. por eso viene de storyteller, de que cuenta, de que dice. Porque dice, tell him, tell me, tell your father about the party. Yes, I won't tell you. <laughs> so, del verbo, decir. 
de ahí se deriva. Okay. Pero también está el caso del bank teller, que no tiene nada que ver con decir ni contar nada. Y es un cajero. En el bank, bank teller. Ajá, bank ah. teller. Ahí sí, no? ahí muere la regla. Cuenta, cuenta el piso. <ríe> Pero eso es de count, count money. No es de, de que ahí te cuento cuánto tengo, ¿no? <ríe> so that's different. Ahí sí se sale el contexto. Oh, by the way, I want to show you my spelling bee. This is a contest in the foundation. We spell verse. Y ahí deletrean los verbos, así se les tienen que quedar. Ah, ok. <ríe> en spelling bee. For example, if I tell you, ah, listen, if I tell you the verb write, you say W-R-I-T-E, write. And if I tell you the verb wrote, which is the past of write, then you have to spell W-R-O-T-E, wrote. Or if I tell you written, which is the past participle, then you say W-R-I-T-T-E-N, written. So that's how they practice. But the preparation is like a month. Como hacen los, los yes? chicos en el colegio en Estados Unidos. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. So that's a spelling bee. Pero es que es la única forma de aprenderse los verbos. By practicing. Of course, la competition... Eh, Tardan como un mes la preparación hasta que llegamos a eliminatorias y hasta que llegan a la final y los ganadores. Of course, the ones that are really good. Aquí no alcanza el tiempo, teacher. Ay, no, no, there's not much time for that. Pero ahí vamos a apelar, ¿verdad? A la, apelar, appealing to the commitment. Ese es como el compromiso personal por aprender. That's the commitment. Because, of course, no tenemos como el time y el environment para hacer la competition, of course. That's great, no problem. Let's see. ¿Quién más dijo good evening? Ah, aquí tenemos a Isabel. He's back home. Catherine says good evening. Vitalia says good evening. Isabel says hi everybody. It's a pleasure to see you again. Yes, likewise. And Vitalia says, have a, I have a severe headache and my cough has gotten worse. I don't think I will be able to participate in the groups. Ay, Dios, don't get sick, people. <laughs> I know, everybody's getting sick. De hecho, tuve que despachar un child también. He was really sick. But he's, de su gripe, andaba con sinusitis, andaba con bleeding nose. Anyway, tuvimos que llamar a su mom so that she could pick him up. Anyways, thank God here you are at home. It's online so we don't get contagious. All right, let's check the attendance. I don't see many people, but it's something we have to do. All right, what day is today, by the way? It's Friday night. Today is Friday 11. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 11 eleven. that's true. 11 eleven. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it, got it. Yes, but have you ever heard the song? Like, it's... The song actually said last Friday night. That's Katy Perry. But I would say it's Friday night. Thank God you are in class, okay? Adriana. Ya regresó Adriana para los que se Present. Hi. <laughs> She's, you were in the hospital, Adriana. Uh, two days. You were at the hospital for two days. Yes. Oh my God. I thought you were at home. Mm, Jesus Morning, Christ. Sunday and Monday. Oh, my goodness. Wait, give me a second. I think my computer is dying. And when the computer starts dying, the screen looks terrible. By the way, <coughs> one minute, please. All right, just one second.
Hai. Hai. Oh my goodness. Let me see. All right. Let's continue with the attendance. I was just mentioning Adriana, Carlos. Present. How are you? Fine. Fine. Today I, I deal. I the do honor. video. <laughs> <laughs> I do honor. How do you say a poll? The nickname. What? Nickname. Ah, nickname. Mm -hmm. uh, and I did today. I did honor. Your nickname. nickname. <laughs> do you have a nickname? Yeah. Uh huh. Famous. All right, Christina. <laughs> Christy, Christy, she's not in class today. Christy, she must be working. Elsie, not yet. Fatima, present teacher. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Ferman, I am here, teacher. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hector. Oh, he said he's going to the hospital. Now I remember. Oh. Isabel. Jen. Hey, good evening. Catherine good evening. having issues with the electricity. Ah, present teacher. All right, feeling sick. Mm, terrible teacher. I know, miserable. <laughs> no, I have a headache. Careful, careful. Take your medications. Lucy. Hi, present. Good evening. Good evening. Mayra. Present. Hello. Hello, teacher. Nuri. Present, teacher. Hi, good evening. Roberto. Carlos. Not here yet. Well, Roberto Carlos sometimes takes a little while. Okay, Sam, it won't be here because of all the birthdays in his family. <laughs> Vitalia. Present teacher. Hi. Walter, have you seen Walter? Walter was having issues with his computer yesterday, so he was connecting from his cell phone. But he's not here yet. Okay, Wendy and Irma. Hi, hi, teacher. Hi, good here. evening. Hello. How are you feeling? Better. <laughs> Much better. Okay, great. Much better. Yes, a lot of people have gotten sick, actually. Yes, we have to be careful. You have to be careful when you go out, okay, when you go to work as well. So let's be really careful. All right. We are starting the class number 19. Woohoo! Almost finished. Almost, almost, almost. Okay. So, as I said before, today is Friday, November 11th, so that would be day 11th, 11th, and this is the class 19, so there's one more week to go, then we're done. All right, let's practice a little bit of what we studied yesterday, okay? Models in past. Of course, I remember that we studied not all of them. But this is a chart that shows, that represents, like, let me see, the spotlight. Okay, so we studied would have, or would have, could have, or could have, like, the pronunciation is usually reduced, right? You say would have, but people would pronounce it like would have, yes? Could have, people would pronounce it like could have. May have, people would pronounce it like made up. 
Might have, people would pronounce it like might have. Should have, people would pronounce it like should have. And must have, people would say it like must have. So they usually say like of, of. And of course, it's the word have, right? So I'm just letting you know because it may happen that somebody uses like this way and you would get like, oh my God, what is he or what is she saying? So be aware of this pronunciation, the reduced pronunciation of these two words, right? So this is just a brief explanation, of course, okay, would have we use for past and real actions. It says, if I had guessed the future, I would have taken some precautions against what would happen. For could have, for past and real ability, he could have taken the flight. May, my, the same for past and real possibility, past and real a small probability, we made a fast the the math exam the math exam if it was in Spanish you might have sold the car if you really needed the money for should have for past and real recommendations like I say to express regrets you should have listened to the teacher and for must have for past and real assumptions we must have we must have been crazy, right? So this is for you to see. Obviously, the manual only presents would have, could have, and should have, right? Would have, could have, and should have. Pero también con los demás models, también se puede usar en paz, right? So that's why I am presenting it today. Okay. This is just a review from yesterday. Okay, I also want you to keep in mind that of course, move this, let me move this. Of course, para eso, el verbo debe usarse en past participle, right? Okay, no puedo decir aquí, I would have take or I would have took. No existe. Tiene que ser el past participle. Yes. Past. I might have sold. Okay. Should have listened. And I must have been crazy. Right? So, the only verb form that we can use after the modal in past is the past participle form of the verb. So that's why we say I would have taken, he could have taken, we might have passed, he might have sold, you should have listened, we must have been, right? So this is for you to emphasize that, okay? Let me just clear this and go on okay again let me take the annotation spotlight all right okay the perfect model it says could have or couldn't have for past ability the boy could have done the dishes himself, but his father decided to help. You see, could have done. Yes, should have or shouldn't have is you did or didn't do something that was a good idea. The girl shouldn't have spun around so many times. She got dizzy and fell down. A spin es como dar vueltas, así como el trompo, como el spinner, right? Entonces no debió haber dado tantas vueltas porque se mareó y se cayó. You know, children usually do that. They start like spinning around and then they get dizzy and then they fall down. They fall down, actually. 
So the meaning of a spin, turn around many times, a spin, a spawn, a spawn, a spawn, with the past participle of a spin. All right. Okay, so this is something that we've also been studying, right? Okay, let's continue. Of course, tenemos un exercise, but you have to keep in mind, okay? The form that you're going to use. Okay, give me a second, please. All right. ¿Ya notaron algunos de estos verbs? Estos son como algunos common verbs, <laughs> irregular verbs, ¿ok? So, base form, arise, arose, la parte que vamos a utilizar es la past participle, arisen, right? So, away, awoke, awoken, be, was, where, been, bear, born, born, bit, bit, bitten. Befall, befell, befallen. ¿Ya? Yeah? Entonces, esta tercera columna es la que no sirve. O sea, la que nos sirve, ¿verdad? The one that we use. Ok, for the past models. Alright? And estos son como algunos verbs. No like all the verbs. There are so many verbs. But if we use them in context, we will remember. Ok? So, we also have irregular verbs, right? Con irregular verbs is a lot easier porque solo le ponemos ed. So, accept, accept, accepted, accepted. Para el past simple y para el past participle es lo mismo. We just add ed. Act, acted, acted. Agree, agreed, agreed. Answer, answered, answered. Ask, asked, asked, right? And so on and so on. Entonces... To complete some examples, recuerden tener en mente los past participle, all right? And this is a short exercise. It says, complete each question or sentence with should have or could have and the main verb, okay? The main verb will be in the form of past participle. For example, okay, you should have been more helpful to that elderly woman should have past advice capability or responsibility could have is for past possibility ok so tenemos tres espacios en cada una de las sentences or questions y tenemos que escribir should have or could have and the verb that is in parentheses in Past participle. This is very similar. This is muy similar a lo que está en el manual. So you just have to work on that. Okay. Questions. Dudas. Situaciones que les preocupen antes de hacer el exercicio. Tell me. Mm -hmm. No problem. Too much work. <laughs> Express yourself. Uh -huh. ¿Qué diferencia entre should have y could have? Should have es como una past recommendation y el could have es como una past possibility. Dice, yo podría, yo pude haber hecho eso, pero 
cuando es este, yo debía haber hecho eso. Right? That's the difference. Yo debía haber hecho eso es should. Should have. Y yo pude haber hecho eso, es like, I could have done it. Y te dice, ah, yesterday I could have finished the report, pero no quise, so I didn't finish it. Ah, pero si está en problema ahora por no haberlo terminado, entonces I should have finished that report. Yes, that's the difference. Anything else? No more? Bye. Okay, here we go. Déjenme ver. Algunas personas seguramente won't be able to participate because they are not feeling well, so be patient. Uh, the test is negative, but uh, okay. I, don't, I don't trust. Ah, it's very good. Very good. Okay. I hope uh, you have followed uh, better. Thank you. Okay. Okay. The eh, quiero ver si podemos compartir. Si sí, se puede. ¿Quiere que comparte? Uh, sí. Ah, sí. Ah, bueno. eh, quiero ver si puedo. Uh -huh. Ahorita, Pérez. Voy a hacerlo más grande. Y voy a centrar. Pues, Ahorita está en su casa. Sí. Vaya, qué bueno. O sea, sí. digo pues que no es lo mismo, aunque en un hospital se tienen todos los médicos. Pero, sí, horrible. Ay, pero es horrible. Sí, ya me imagino. Vaya, hoy sí, creo que sí voy a poder compartir. Ahí me dice si aparece bien. ¿Se ve bien? Sí. Ay, ok. Eh, eh, number one, quiero ver. You have past advice, capability. You have capability. Uh -huh. This is number one, this is. Help. I, your last weekend, if you have difficult ask. Possibly, I could, ah, I could have helped. Help, help. Help, uh -huh. help, uh -huh. help, help, you last okay. ¿Usted la va copiando o no? Sí. Eh, es doble E y N, no. Permítame un segundito, quiero ver. Ya me confundí. Pero, uh -huh. I could have helped. Es con N, ¿no? 
Mm, no. Obviamente. De, 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 de. Ya vamos a ver, ahorita aquí arriba tengo el. Si no lo borramos, no se preocupe. Uh -huh. Ah, no, ni no aparece helper. Porque estos son irregulares. Uh -huh. Por eso creo que ese es un verbo regular. Es que ese, yo, ah, ese para mí es regular. Uh -huh. Entonces solo se le agregaría la e n Sí. sí, ¿verdad? Mm. ID. ¿Por qué? Bueno, pasado participio de help. Es pass al by capability or possibility. To have a one pass possibility. Mm, pero ahí nos está dando al final de cada pregunta nota qué es si es una posibilidad un consejo ah entonces si es una posibilidad es Ajá. cool head es porque el, el, la, la número uno es, es una posibilidad ok I could help el verbo ahí sería help, bueno, estamos en la primera, ¿verdad? Help, eh, participio. Um, yo podría... De los que, de los que dio ella no está help. Busquémoslo <risa> <risa> entonces. Help, help. Help help. Help, help. help, help. help, help. Michelle, one question. Tell me. Eh, eh, what are possibilities? Eh, it's como. como la posibilidad o responsabilidad, no sé si, si eso tiene que ver con el, que deberíamos usar should o o could. Sí, sí es como una past possibility, usamos could have. Could, could have. Sí, y si es un past advice, capability o responsibility, usamos should have. Double advice también es double, double advice. Con... Y advice. Advice. Should have. Isis. Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces estamos bien. Ya con esto. Ya terminamos. Done. <laughs> Finish. <Ready>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Number two. Okay. Uh, number three. Tienes la, tienes la dos bien, ya, Robert. Okay. La número 3 sería. Uh, uh. La, la siguiente es cuestión, ¿verdad? Sí. Cool. Cool. Y cuando es cuestión se, se usa el verbo have. Por das. Aquí voy a hacer carga. My student should have finished their assignment by now. Student should have finished. Finished. Uh -huh. Finished. Es la número 5. No, my students. Sure, how? Uh, 
e nisto. Y porque tiene, tiene eh, el paréntesis lo hace más fácil, si no lo tuviera, no fuéramos tan luego. <risa> Number six. Responsibility. Shouldn't that Shouldn't company that, that company have, have paid 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 how they paid? Creo que igual que el pasado. The spy. Uh, par par participle. Participle. Spide. E A I D. Ajá, los dos son iguales. Uh -huh. Sería. Yes. No sé qué es el how. Juren. That company have paid their employees on time. Shouldn't, shouldn't that company? Eh, pero aquí tendría que ya ir that company. Voy a dejar un espacio acá. Y entonces ya coloco have. Pay it. Pay, pay it. Mm. Y que termine la pregunta, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Vaya, entonces el otro sería possibility. Entonces, could. Cool. Why couldn't you? Have uh -huh. me meet a regular, muy regular. Mm, I remember that this is, creo que es irregular el meet. meet. Por el seven. Irregular. Uh -huh. Y, y el pasado que... participio es met. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, vamos a ver. Perdón, perdón, este, me, nos habló Irma. Eh, no, 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 está bien. Okay. Que me había quedado atrás. Why couldn't? Why couldn't? Couldn't. Ahí vamos meet. a dar un par de espacio. How? Meet. Met. O meet, mm. no sé cómo se dice. Mm -hmm. But this... The disaster. Ah, oh, pero voy a bajar un poquito esto. Can, can never have happened. Ya la regué. ¿Por qué? Porque mire, se mueve esto y el problema es que a la nueve no. Oh, la oh, sí, ya acabo. De... No, no eh, sé eh, qué está. está no, me hágale un montón de deshacer ahí. Ya va, le voy a poner una marquita. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, terminemos entonces la 8, porque solo esa nos hace falta y la 9. La 10, son 10. Son 10. Sí. Ah, pues falta un montón. Va. <risa> happen, happen. Happen. Eh, este es irregular. Este es irregular. Y es possibility, entonces es cool. Cool. Never. Cool. Never. Es pregunta mm. esto, sí va. A mm. ver, let me see. It's not an eight. No, no. The... Why couldn't? Sí. ¿Por qué? Ajá. Empiezo con un por qué. Uh -huh. Teacher. Ay. 
زود انت هاي تيتشر دي نمبر نا نمبر no es pregunta no no es pregunta pero por qué está dividida como que el could debe ir antes del never number nine eight eight I'm sorry the disaster ah porque es como el never es un adverb de frecuencia entonces va entre el primer auxiliar y could. el resto ajá Okay. Could never have happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. All right. Eso no no lo había explicado, teacher. Es <laughs> <laughs> como el teacher de mate, ¿verdad? Que le explica cómo oh. es bien fácil. The, the, the easy <laughs> example. The easy problems oh. and the difficult don't. Don't come on the, on the exam. Cuando yo estudié en la universidad, yo tenía unos profesores que se pelaban. O sea, hacían unos ejercicios tan easy. Uh -huh. Y después en el examen, uh -huh. pues, una gran trabada que nos daban. <laughs> Es no, cierto. Pero en inglés no, esas cositas como surgen, pero porque pues no siempre vamos, o sea, yo explico como la, la estructura base, pero estos son como detallitos como para poner más sabor a la oración, que could have never have happened, nunca pudo haber pasado. Ok. Right. Vamos a ver, vamos a poner solo esto acá. No sé cómo hacer con esto. Ah, ¿sabe qué? Si gustan, le toman captura de pantalla ahorita. Eh, yo no lo puedo ver. No lo puedo ver. No, me salen todos los cuadritos de donde nosotros estamos. Creo que me salí o no sé qué pasó. ¿Usted lo puede ver, Pero Marín? no veo uno. Tiene apagado el micro. Y es que la perrita está balando. Están, sí se leen, pero se ven eh, un poquito. We finished, teacher. No problems? I think no problems. Okay, perfect. No. So number nine with disaster. President Bush should told the American people they need to name more person. Teacher. Hi. Tenemos una duda en el number three. Uh -huh. eh, como debería ser cool day después del, del, pron, del pronoms. Uh -huh. eh, should be, should, should, uh, Ahí have. dice que es posible, entonces empezamos con cool. Could uh -huh. they have done? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, esa, donde usar el hub, teníamos duda, Pedro. Así lo hemos usado, de hecho. Ok, alright. Como el number, number seven. Uh -huh. What, what uh -huh. you, you exactly. have? Met. Met. Yes. La pronunciación de, del pasado de, de it, ¿qué sería? ¿Cómo es? It, a, eaten. ¿Y el pasado? Eaten. Ah, eight. Hey, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. so, y es como presente. Es que uh -huh. me confundo siempre. No problem. Ok, thank you. All right. Number 10. Number 10. Robert, 10. Yeah. Entonces, estamos bien en todas. Estamos bien. En el 10 sería... Stability is silver. 
had beans. Beans. Mm -hmm. Beans. 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 ¿En cuál, Isabel? La nueve. Uh, responsibility. Debía, debía. President Bush. Who have tell. Vamos a ver, tell. <laughs> El participio de tell. Tall. Tall. Who? Some other president would. Who have told mm -hmm. to American people they need to make yes. personal. Is responsibility sería should have. Ah, cierto. Responsibility should. President Bush should have told. Y la número 10. You should have. Maybe. You have. Being. As she said, she has been. She has been. Sí, el mayor problema es con los con los verbos. Ah, sí, tenemos que formas. aprender un montón de eso. No sé si soy yo o solo veo dos. Cool. Those could help. Y de ahí todas son su help. Possibility. Según lo que hemos ido respondiendo. Ajá, porque <laughs> según lo que <laughs> es possibility, responsibility, capability, así, así la veo. Su. La seis, la nueve y la advertencia, por ejemplo, la dos, esa nos quedó, ¿cómo, cómo la dejó usted? La dos. Ajá. La y y su, y su talk. Su, también, entonces serían tres con su. Con Shul. Sería la 2, la 4, la 8, la 9. Y la 9. Y la 9 y la 10. Y la 6 y la 7 son en negativo. Ajá. Dos, cuatro, seis, ocho, nueve, diez. Shoot. Oh, you make your...
a rain. You finished. No problems. Easy peasy. All right, let's check. The first one. Number one, it says that is a possibility, right? Mm -hmm. I could have helped. Okay. Could have helped. All right. Could have helped. Okay. I could have helped you last weekend if you had asked me. To advise. Uh -huh. He? How? Could or should? Should. Should. He should have asked. Right? Yes. He should have asked to the doctor about his stomach pain. Three. Yeah, the yes. bear was stuck. Oh, I thought it was ask. Sorry. Should have talked. I said, where don't they ask? I should have, okay, he should have talked. This is still a regular verse, so he should have talked. To the doctor about his stomach pain. Three possibility. Uh -huh. Could they have done? Could they have done? Done. Done. Okay. Could they have done all that work already? Maria? Could have eaten. Could have eaten. Okay. Could have eaten the whole pizza. Okay, could have eaten the whole pizza by herself. She was so hungry. My students, should have, should have finished <laughs> should have finished with the t sound and should have finished their assignment by now okay six I shouldn't that company have paid. Okay, shouldn't that company have paid? Okay, so at the beginning, we should with the contraction of shouldn't, right? Shouldn't that company have paid? paid. Yeah, shouldn't that company have paid their employees on time? Mm -hmm. Why? Couldn't. Couldn't. But we already have the contraction, right? Why couldn't you? Have met. Have met. Uh -huh. Me earlier. Yes. Now we don't have any time. <laughs> All right, the disaster. Good. Good. The disaster could never. They happen. 
have happened could never have happened it was preventable President Bush mm -hmm. should, should have told okay should have told Okay, should have told the American people they needed to make more personal sacrifices when the Iraq war began. Oh my God. And the last one. You should have been. You should have been able we complete the test within 60 minutes. In this sentence, complete is the main verb. So that means that there are seven words in the part. All right. So you should have been able to complete, right? The test in 60 minutes. All right. No problems, I see. Yeah, I would be studying models in past ok ya la tenían así ya la habían escrito or if you want you can still get a screenshot so alright can I delete yes alright perfect and the attendance the second time let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. All right, here, Adriana, Carlos. Present. Present, Thank teacher. You. Christy. Present. Elsie. Present, teacher. Hi, Fatima. Present, teacher. All right, Herman. Present, teacher. Okay. sick. He was going to the hospital. Oh my God, Isabel. Catherine, Lucy, present, present. Nuri, present teacher, Roberto, not yet, Roberto. Hi. <laughs> okay. Let's see, Vitalia, present teacher. Okay, and Irma, teacher present. Hi. Present teacher. Hi. Where where are you? <laughs> ¿Cómo estás? How are you? All good? All good? All good? All right. Cool. Okay, one second, please. Let me see. I'm a little bit lost on the manual. Ah, here. Okay, this was a really good practice for could have, should have. But it's time to check out the manual. Bien. What do we have to do here? ¿Qué tenemos que hacer? What do we have to do? Okay. This was the structures that we have been practicing for monitoring personal. Y algo que debemos como mantener en perspectiva es que esas lecciones son para monitorear el trabajo, el desempeño del de personal, ¿verdad? Obviously, it's focused on the restaurant staff, but of course we can apply it to any other staff. All right. <clears throat> Take turns, your turn. Read the following situations and discuss with a partner about the actions a manager could have done to improve or solve them. Ajá. Hasta en la instrucción, si se fijan, ya está usada la estructura del past model. Dice, hay que leer estas situations, read the following situations, and discuss with a partner, y discutir con un partner, about the actions, acerca de qué acciones a manager could have done, pudo haber hecho 
to improve or solve them. Para mejorar estas situaciones o para resolverlas, pues. Ok, vamos a leer las situations y si hay alguna que no nos quede claro, pues la discutimos. Ok, the first situation. Money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who is taking it. Ustedes piensen, ¿qué pudo, haber, ¿qué pudo haber hecho el manager para resolver esta situación de que el dinero o yes, el cash esté desapareciendo de la caja? Y no sabe quién lo está tomando, dice el manager. Maybe. Okay. Yes. Y to put the camera. Exactly, that's one option. Exactly. Vamos a explicar eso, qué se pudo haber hecho, pero usando igual... He could have, he should have, right? <laughs> I know, you got the solution. Perfect, bye. Igual pueden haber otras cosas que también se pudieron haber hecho. Y vamos a usar la estructura. Okay, second situation. Someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant. Oops, but no one of the servers has reported the issue. Bah, ¿Alguien quebró? Uh -huh. Three bottles. Three bottles of the best wine. Uh -huh. Es como si alguien quebró tres botellas del mejor vino, eso debe ser un pistal. ¿Right? Uh, a ver. <ríe> Entonces, y dice que ninguno de los servers reportó nada. Ups, lo quebraron a propósito. <ríe> On purpose. <laughs> Isabel is an expert in this area. But he will tell us what could have the manager have done. What could the manager have done? ¿Qué pudo haber hecho el manager? Es algo que ustedes van a discutir. Don't worry. My you customers. Have... <laughs> uh -huh. He should you have should called have... Isabel. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> to buy more product. Ah, no, pues sí, pero ¿y los que pagan el, el, el daño en el restaurant? Porque si los servers no reportan nada, es como que... Mm, something fishy, ¿verdad? no fue un accident. Bye. They drink the wine. Y después quedaron las botellas. ¿eh? Obviously. Bye. Three. My customers complain that my servers take too long to deliver the food. Aquí los clientes se quejan de que los servers, o sea, los waiters o los waitress, se tardan demasiado en llevar la food. Uh -huh. So, si usted le está diciendo al manager que debió haber hecho para que los servers sirvan la comida on time, Ahí vamos a discutir. That. He should have hired new servers. He should have trained. Yes. Se debió haber entrenado a los servers. Right? Son algunas de las su suggestions que podríamos dar. Number four. The kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. ¿Alguien me quiere decir qué significa la number four? Please. El, 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 el kitchen manager está tomando cosas de la de la alacena o algo así. De la cena, de, de la bodega, de donde, de donde se almacenan las cosas de, del restaurante, o sea, la, la comida, pues los productos. ¿verdad? Se lleva el, el rice, el oil. Entonces se está perdiendo. Uh -huh. Otra que <risa> More cameras. Ok. Bye. Y en number five. The schedule is a mess. A mess. Es un desorden. The schedule is a mess. And it is very difficult to stop for staff to understand. O sea, aquí el relajo es que el horario es un desorden, no se entiende y es muy difícil para el staff entender. ¿A qué horas tienen que estar? ¿A qué horas tienen que que cubrir o a qué horas tienen que a tomar sus breaks, okay? entonces, ¿qué se puede hacer? Bye. 
Don't fight situation. Por lo menos dos sugerencias de lo que el manager puede, pudo haber hecho. Para evitar, para solventar o para resolver cada una de las situaciones. I suggest que las escriban. Porque si no las están discutiendo y después a la hora que les pregunto, ¿a qué se pudo haber hecho? No, no, me bueno, es, no copiamos en I forget. Yes? So yo les diría, you should have written down the examples. Entonces, mejor take notes. Right? Ok, let's see. Vamos a trabajar con alguien más. Somebody else, probably, that was not in my group, will be now. We are um, discussing the questions. Estas. Or, ah, sorry, just read the following situation. sugerencias. Okay. okay. Uh, about number one, money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who is taking it. Por ejemplo, de esa, tenemos que dar una sugerencia con, con, could, could have, or should have. You should have telling your the telling the manager from the money disappear. O sea que tiene que tiene que decirle al al gerente de la desaparición desaparición del dinero. I think they could have Have <laughs> Mm. 
Como ya pasó, vea, como ya está pasando la situación, entonces, uh -huh. eh, como para que ya no suceda. Uh -huh. He could have puesto, tendría que ser como colocado, ¿verdad? Eh, colocar, place, place, no. Place, entonces. Security cameras. Uh -huh. Cameras. Uh -huh. Now the next one, say. Someone broke three. <laughs> Ese está el de que ya te di. Se lo tomaron y luego quebraron. <laughs> Así dice el tipo. Someone broke three bottles of the, the best wine in the restaurant, but none of the server has reported the issue. Eh, eh, de, es, tendríamos que, para mí, como. Lo voy a decir en español para que luego lo pasemos en inglés. Sí. Él debería okay. tener eh, como una mejor, un mejor control de evaluación del, o del personal que él tiene. Hacer evaluaciones, digamos, eh, eventuales, pienso yo. Para ver la capacidad sí. del personal. <ríe> de abilities. <ríe> Ajá, porque yeah. si se quebraron a lo mejor, eh, bueno, es que como eh, nadie dijo ¿no? uh -huh. Ajá, esa Pero es la falla dice... que nadie dijo. Ajá. dijo? Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, a, a mí me sucedió en un super, fíjense, que uh -huh. con la carretilla este, habían dejado como muy a la orilla una, y justo eran unas botellas de vino. Uh -huh. <ríe> y y este, con la carretilla la pasé a llevar, quebré una, entonces yo ahí me quedé y le fui Ajá. a decir al vigilante, mire qué hago, sucedió esto, o sea, esto estaba bien a la orilla aquí, pero dije, uh -huh. ¿qué hago? Uh -huh. Y de ahí me dijo, no, no, no tenga, no, no hay problema, uh -huh. <ríe> porque a día ya me tocó pagar, ni compro vino para... <ríe> Iba a pagar por algo que ni siquiera. <ríe> algo que ni me tomé. Ajá, pero... Ajá, ahí, bueno, no se sabe, aunque haya sido accidental, pero el deber de ellos fue como reportarlo. Entonces, quizás, eh, ajá, para mí lo que usted dice está bien de como capacitarlos y decirles, que, hacerles como conciencia mm. de siempre, por la transparencia, siempre reportar, aunque haya sido accidental. Exacto. Obviamente. Ajá. Eh, entonces, es, he could have tendría que ser, porque como estamos hablando de su chat for the manager, ¿verdad? Ajá. Él, él pudo, a ver. He could have trainer, como entrenar mejor. Ajá, training staff. Ya, ya apareció la teacher. <risa> Stolen. Still. Stolen, Stolen me parece aquí. Still. Ah, sí, sí. Es, ya, ajá. Sí, que yo estaba con el presente. No, 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 no vaya a expulsar. Stolen. <risa> ah, no, ajá. You finish. No, no, no teacher. <risa> Verde. Still stole, stolen. Stolen. Es que queremos poner así, teacher. Uh -huh. The person should have returned the stolen. A lo robado. <risa> Eso es muy salvadoreño. <risa> no Pero tiene please. traducción. <risa> Pero lo que quieren decir es que debía haber devuelto lo robado. Ajá. Ajá, para que alcance. Si ahora está ahora no está en el saldo. Pero sí sería, teacher. En ese caso, sí. 
He should have returned the stolen. Vaya, ve, teacher, aprendiendo. <ríe> ya está haciendo política. Me veo. Vaya. Voten por Fernández. Fernández. <ríe> <ríe> <Fermán, ríe> ok. Para presidente de, de, del curso. <ríe> ok. <ríe> so, broke three bottles of the best wine y es del mejor vino. In the restaurant. O sea, el problema es que quebraron tres botellas del mejor vino y nadie de los meseros reportó el problema. Reportó el problema. Para mí que se las cobraran. Mira, a veces las medidas son bien fregadas. Cuando no aparece el culpable, te dicen. Bueno, como no se sabe quién es, entonces a to todos van a hacer la cabuda. Y ahí entre ellos mismos presionan. Cabá. Para que aparezca. Mm -hmm. Yo sí digo. Reforzar, ¿Y más si ¿no? alguien vio lo que pasó? Cabá. Entonces podemos poner... Sí, o escuchó, man. porque tres botellas quebradas tienen que oírse. Sí, cabal. The manager... The eh, manager... Yo, para mí, debería. O podría. ¿Cómo lo hacemos? Porque una era sugerencia y la otra que era... Teacher, ¿qué es? Eh, yo tengo una, un, un doubt, okay. que es capability. Capacidad. Ah. ¿Y qué tal si de las propinas se crea, se podría crear un fondo para este tipo de accidentes? Uh -huh. Van a ocurrir más seguido, pero está bien. <risa> sí. Lo van a dar como quebrado y casualmente ya estaba vacía la botella. <risa> pero es, una buena... es una buena medida. Podría, entonces sería, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh. Could, could have. Could have. Uh -huh. Could have. Could have. Could have qué? Podría <ríe> hacer que sería maker. Don. Don. O maker. maker. ¿Cuál es? No es crear. Create. Crear puede ser. Create. No, sí, crear. Crear. Create. 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 Ajá, con ED al final, ¿verdad? Ahorita. Kitchen area, I think. Ajá, porque eh, eh, por lo general eso sucede por falta de organización, vea. Mm. Entonces sería como. Eh, personal o. Pero a quién, a quién su uh -huh. como quien se queja es costume. Uh -huh. Entonces, la sugerencia iría para el dueño del resto, digamos, o para el personal encargado uh -huh. de, de But, eh, pero como dice que with, eh, about the action a manager, o sea, las acciones que el manager debería tomar. Ah, oh, ok, ok. The manager. Es que así se dice, the following situation in the queue with a partner about the action a manager. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's not, it's not oh, directly for the server. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's for the manager. It's, it's the guilty. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sí, entonces sería aquí. Sí, mejor. Uh -huh. Mejorar. The kitchen organization, algo así. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Super organizado. Este, porque a veces no es que no haya personal, sino que distribuirlo mejor, creo, también. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. como, como hacer una mejor distribución uh -huh. del personal quizás o sea, podría como ayudar organizar como organizar organize ajá I think organize organize uh -huh. the staff uh -huh. organize it better entonces organizar mejor uh -huh. The staff. 
in the kitchen area. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Now the B. ¿Cuál otro podríamos decir? Um, Pensemos. Take too long to leave the food. Bye. Otra, ya dijimos que organizar. Finish, teacher. All right, thank you. Finish? No yet. <laughs> oh, teacher. Too difficult. Yeah. One, really? One sentence for 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 number is is, is real. It's okay. Two, <laughs> two it's is too much. Difficult. Yeah. <laughs> no, too much. Too much. I know. <laughs> too per <poor> person. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. This was a big task. <laughs> Veamos, pues, qué se puede hacer. <laughs> Vamos a ver, dos situaciones diferentes, dos suggestions diferentes para la primera situación. Money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who is taking it. This manager. Mm -hmm. The manager who have put camera in the room when it. Yeah, the manager could have put cameras in the room to see who is stealing the money from the register, right? Uh -huh. Another verb that you can use for put could be the manager could have installed, right? Cameras. La segunda opción la, la, la quería decir Fermán. Ajá, Fermán, we listen. Uh, 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 bueno, for my group, uh, this, the person should have 
returned the stolen. <laughs> sí, pero ahí ya apostándole a la integridad del, del rover, ¿verdad? <laughs> Pues Vaya. sí, te digo yo que es bien difícil porque ya el despido no tiene ganado. Ajá. Manager could have interviewed employees, the employees. Exactly, the manager could have interviewed one by one the employees. He could have investigated. Esa situación pasa. Una vez nos pasó a nosotros que los chicos hacen un montón de actividades para raise funds para hacer un fundraising y luego hacer su feria del logro. Y pues habían comprado un cofrecito de, de madera y ahí iban guardando todo su cash. Y de repente se desapareció. El peor de los casos es que era un security el que lo había robado. O sea, si nadie más tenía acceso a ese lugar. Entonces, o sea, pero eso fue de darle, darle, darle hasta que dieron que era él, y ni siquiera se había deshecho del, del cofrecito, sino que lo había ido a tirar allá como, digamos, donde está la, la basura general, ¿verdad? obviamente ya sin el cash, imagine, o sea, quién menos hubiéramos pensado que iba a ser la persona, obviamente, he was fired, pero imagínense por unas monedas bien fired, y no vale la pena, pero anyways, ya tenía el hábito. Uh -huh, probable. Y, y trabajaba en el área de seguridad. <ríe> Incredible, I know. Ok. Another one. No more for the number one. We jump to the number two. Ok. Someone brought three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but none of the servers reported the issue. Cristi tenía ahí la, una opción, teacher. Aquí estamos nominando a los volunteers. That's a good option, actually. Uh -huh. um, we could be treated um, team for for this type of accident. Okay. They could have created, right? A found raising for this type of accident. Uh -huh. Could be. Más rápido. Ah, bueno. Primero fue que dijo que más seguido van a suceder este tipo de accidentes. Obviamente, si ya hay como pagar. Right. Uh -huh. Any other possibility? Or any other advisability. Lo, lo más extraño es que si pasa eso, teacher, le aseguro que van a estar quebradas las botellas y se va a evaporar el vino. Right. The manager oh. uh -huh. uh, could have charged the bottles between the, the waiter. Right. The managers could have charged for the bottles to all the staff. Hasta que aparezca el culpable. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, any other possibility or advisability? No? Uh, um, the manager could, could have give, given um, in, uh, a training to avoid the accident. Mm -hmm. The manager could have given a training exactly to avoid the accident. All right, number three. The manager says, my customers complain that my servers take too long to deliver the food. Yes. You could have said uh, goals to improve the time. Mm -hmm. They could have set goals to improve the time of delivering the food, right? That's right. Okay. Any other? The manager, he should have investigated 
the the long issue. Okay, he should have investigated the issue. Yeah, like supervising, checking why the servers are taking too long to deliver the food. Right. Okay, the kitchen manager has been taking the stuff or products from the storage room. It's similar number one. Right. Should have inter uh, should have interviewed the employees. Should have uh, yeah investigated. Yeah. Should have interviewed the employee and see what's happening. Right. Or why this is happening. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have this on the stock and now we don't have it. Right? Mm -hmm. But usually when they find out the, the reasons, they are usually fired, right? Yeah, the employee is fired. You should have put a warning. Mm -hmm. Should have put a warning. It's another one. Okay. And the last one, the schedule is a mess. It is very difficult for the staff to understand it. Mm -hmm. The manager, uh, the shall have uh, order. The schedule. I got right. schedule, yep. Yeah, the manager should have created a clear and understandable schedule mm -hmm. what else the manager could, could have you said um, use it app apps right the manager could have used an app to organize the schedule and to give the employees reminders about their schedules right okay great good you see, before the doll was not that bad. It was okay. I know. <laughs> you have to think. You have to. Yeah, I heard in a group that they say, Pensemos, let's think. I know. English requires analysis. It's not. It's just repeating or it's just uh, singing. It's just saying a tongue twister. Right? But we have to think, we have to organize the ideas, and that's why the language is produced. Okay, great. Bye. Vamos a tomar un break de five minutes para hablar de lo que quieran. Y luego seguimos. Ahí finalizamos. When do we finish? That's a very good question. November the. Yes. Nunca me quiero equivocar, so siempre me voy al, al, al email. November the 21st. Teacher. Mm -hmm. 21st. En la plataforma, mm -hmm. en el website, aparece 24. Really? No, November 24. Yep. Ay, los engañaron, la mentira. <laughs> <laughs> no, sí, ahí se cierra la plataforma, este es el día. Pero ah, okay. la, la última clase es el 21st. Don't worry. Ah, tenemos tres días para hacer todo. Ay, y lo peor que la, la Mir es la más responsable, la que siempre hace todo on time, solo nos está haciendo para distraerlos, <risa> para que se confíen. Espérenme, voy a desconectar la computer, it's charged already. Uh huh. I speak. It's your free time to speak. No topic <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Just laughing, not speaking. Okay. Ni modo. Ya, 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 ya dejaron el tiempo libre.
the free silent. time. Silent. <laughs> <laughs> Just silent. <laughs> Just resting. Teacher, uh -huh. et, um, en el caso de, de del examen final, uh -huh. pregunta, ¿es el 21 o el 22? <laughs> 21st. 21st. Y si lo pueden month... hacer antes del 21st, pues recuérdense que terminamos 21st, que es un Monday, por lo del de November 2nd, por lo del ah. día de asueto. Pero si ustedes lo pueden hacer el fin de semana antes de la última clase, pues bingo. Aleluya. Ya no me presento el 21st. Mm, ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. El que no esté en la última clase no le manda el diploma. A mí nunca me han mandado diploma. Really? A mí no, tampoco. Yo nunca lo he visto. Eh, te terminé eso. Ni, si, cabal, ni siquiera las notas mandaron este. The pasado. intermediate six. I mean, the basic six. Sí. No. Really? Yeah. ¿Y por qué no preguntaron en el, en el email? I should have asked. You should have asked. <laughs> Yo como la veo en, en el coso, digo, bueno, es todo tengo 10. I'm good, right. this is it. <laughs> en, en el, sí, de veras, en la, en la plataforma. En la plataforma. En la plataforma. Mm -hmm, plataforma. I'm fine, dice. All right. No more? Seguro que ya no hay más topic of conversation. Vale, no vamos a estar complaining, que yo no los dejo expresarse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't complain. I could Later. Be. All right. Let's move on. Okay, in this of the monitoring the personnel, tenemos un reading. Un poquito long el reading, pero it's okay. Justamente tiene que ver con lo que ustedes expresaron en el caso de la cashier que se desaparecía el money, ¿verdad? En el caso del manager del, o del staff que se llevaba las cosas. Entonces, acá dice, discuss advantages of employees surveillance. Surveillance es la, la vigilancia, ¿verdad? Problems in restaurants. Identify key information about the advantages of employee surveillance program in a reading passage. Luego tiene otras questions que dice, how would you define an inadequate crisis management plan? Could a lack of communication cause a crisis management plan to fail in mitigating financial loss? Bye. Si me preguntan a mí, this is a lot of technical vocabulary, pero lo que les están preguntando es que, ¿cómo se podría definir una crisis o un plan de uh, inadequate crisis management plan. O sea, un plan de manejo inadecuado de una crisis. Supongo que puede ser como por una situación como esta, como la que hemos mencionado antes, ¿verdad? Que está pasando algo, que no lo se resuelve, que no se sabe quién es el que está causando alguna pérdida, ¿ya? Y luego dice, could a lack of communication, podría ser que la falta de comunicación cause una crisis en el manejo, o un plan de management para que falle y puede esto llegar a mitigating financial loss. O sea, puede esto fallar para mitigar una pérdida financiera. So obviously, si algo se está perdiendo, cash, products, sí, es un, una pérdida, right? So, ¿Esto es por la falta de comunicación o por qué? Ese es el punto. Los experts in security. <ríe> y Cristina, yo no les voy a revelar cómo se hace. Ajá. Nah. Uh -huh. Opinions. ¿Qué es lo que está fallando? ¿Any idea? 
the control. The control. Mm -hmm. The programs, right? Of security. Maybe also the the selection. Somebody mentioned the selection of the personnel of the staff, right? Okay. I know there's a lot of technical vocabulary. Give me just one second. All right. Si ¿Sí encontraron esa, esa parte en su manual? Did you find it? Bye. Acá tenemos un arco. Dice, read the following passage about surveillance technology. Surveillance, como yo les decía, son como las medidas de, de vigilancia de seguridad para los establecimientos, obviamente. Y acá el passage habla de eso, de surveillance technology. I'm going to read it and then we're all going to read it, all right? Most of the public discussion of surveillance technology and its use revolves around the question, is it spooky or reassuring? But a different issue is the effect of surveillance on behavior. In a new research paper shows in detail how significant the surveillance effect can be. The researchers measure the impact of software that monitors employees' level, theft, and sales transactions before and after the technology was installed. At 392 restaurants in, 90, in 39 states, employee theft and fraud is a big problem. Estimated up to 200 billion a year across the economy. Most of the restaurants industry pays its servers low wages and they depend on tips. Employee replacement is high. In that environment, a certain amount of theft has long been regarded as a normal part of the business. Okay. A simple example is it's a bartender not charging for a round of drinks in arguing the customers to take care of me with a large tip. Other tactics are more elaborate. But monitoring software is now available to track all the transactions and detect suspicious patterns. After the installation of the monitoring software, income per restaurant increased by an average of 2,982 a week, dollars a week. Knowing they were being monitored, the servers not only pull back on any authentical practice, an ethical practice, sorry, but also channel their effort into, say, prompting customers to have that dessert for second year. Interesting. There is a lot of new vocabulary, I believe, right? Okay. Any question about the vocabulary? What's the meaning of? What's the meaning of surveillance? Surveillance. Surveillance is the vigilancia. O sea, puede ser lo de las cámaras. Softwares. Es que no, no le podemos decir security porque security generalmente se refiere a las. En sí, a las personas. Like the department of security, right? Pero en este caso es como surveillance, es el, la instalación de equipo tecnológico para vigilar lo que sucede. And of course, esto requiere obviamente tener eh, un room con pantallas, con monitores que estén transmitiendo lo que, lo que, esta, lo que estas cámaras están recording, ¿verdad? Right? 
Okay. Es spooky, uh -huh. teacher. Es spooky. Es algo sospechoso. <ríe> Ese es un término que se, se, se usa como eh, en, en contextos de, de Halloween, como que algo no está bien. Sí, como que algo es weird. Misterioso podría ser. Ajá, pero en este contexto obviamente es que de forma misteriosa se están perdiendo las cosas, right? Ok, um, wash, 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 wash son como los salarios, minimum wage decimos el salario mínimo, o sea que los wage de las personas que trabajan en el área de restaurantes no son buenos y por eso es que los las personas que trabajan en, en esta área tienden a agarrar sus cosas. Porque muchos dependen de que si son buenas o no las tips, las propinas. Okay. Uh -huh. lo, entonces, low, low wage es salario mínimo. Salarios bajos. Ah, ok. okay. Uh -huh. Y por eso es que es muy común el que sucedan ese tipo de cosas, como de robos y pérdidas en la industria del restaurante. A eso se atribuye, pues, no es que a la falta de ética, ¿verdad? <ríe> o a las malas costumbres. Ajá, <ríe> uh -huh. what else? Dime, Dios mío. Surveillance, esa es la palabra de la que estábamos hablando with Antiana. Surveillance, de eso. Uh -huh. Es esto. En what the meaning of working, working, working. What is it? A simple example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks. An urgent. Urgent. Ajá. Eso es como, digamos que un bartender tiene esta acción de no cobrar el round of drinks, o sea, que en realidad no se le paga la ronda de bebidas al restaurante, pero él les hace entender que la propina de él tiene que ser muy buena. Por eso le dice urging, como hacer urgencia de... O sea, no sé de qué forma podrían hacer eso, pues, pero eso es lo que quiere decir acá. Es como que... Ya se conoce con las personas que están drinking y no les cobra el round of drinks, pero si les dice take care of me, es como que la propina sea generosa. With a large tip. Take care of me es, es, es como un modismo. Ajá, ajá, en, en este caso ajá, es como una consigna. Ajá. Así como me Cuídate. cuidan, cuídenme, ajá. ajá. Ah, Pero claro. obviamente, ¿cómo lo van a cuidar a él? Es dándole una buena propina. Entonces, él se ve beneficiado, pero el restaurante pierde. Ok. Uh -huh. Te voy a pedir trabajo de bartender. <risa> a ver si puedo hacer estas tácticas. De verdad. Ya me está enseñando. A ver si puedo aplicar estas tácticas. Ajá, y dice, y otras más elaboradas tácticas. O sea, esto es como pininos, basic stuff. Ajá, como lo del que se perdieron, la, como que se quebraron la botella. From the best wine. What else? No more? Bueno. Quedará de homework. <ríe> Yo decía, no. Why? No, solo tratan de leerlo, de buscar el vocabulario que no conocen. Porque sí hay un poquito de high vocabulary. O sea, el vocabulario es obviamente relacionado a este tipo de prácticas indebidas en el área del restaurante. Y acá hay algunas cuestiones. ¿Ya? Yeah relacionadas al artículo, obviamente. Se tratan de hacer como un avance y working a check on Monday, right? No worries. 
All right, let's have the last attendance. In the spooky attendance, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present. Christy. Present. Elsie. Present, teacher. Fatima. Fermain. Present, teacher. Present, teacher. Isabel. Hi. Ya se no fue Isabel. No, no yet. Hi, Catherine. Present, teacher. Lucy. Present. Mayra. Present. Nuri. Roberto. Present, teacher. Present. Vitelia. Present. Walter. No, we know that Walter. He asked for permission. And Irma. Present, teacher. Hi. Present, teacher. Hey, Wendy. All right. Wendy, you are sick. Todavía sigue sick. Yes, teacher. Did you go to the doctor? No. Hi. Why? <laughs> you need to go to the doctor. You should have gone to the doctor. Yes. All right. And Irma, can you stay for the session one on one? Teacher, or you know. All right, no problem. Don't worry. It's okay. Next Monday. Voy a poner un todo lo que no queda All right. Have a good weekend. Enjoy. Take care. God bless you. Good night, teacher. Bye. See you Monday. Bye. Good night. Good night.